Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Six box, pick your team number nine, all card chip, a lot of great stuff here. Half case from a fresh case. Big thanks to the handful of people that got their team straight up. I appreciate that. But the rest of the teams end up in a random, it was almost a full half case random number block break. There you go. Now let's pop this open. Yeah, if I had sleeves to roll up X-Line, I'd do that too. Time to get down to serious museum business. Dr. Jones, we assure you that we have our top men on it. Top men. Oh, this is the number block group as well. We did that randomizer in a separate video. So it's a serial number break just for that group of teams right there, or the R&B teams you saw on the previous list. Previously on lists. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. So left side, this will save for next time. Next time on. Museum collection. So that is, uh, so we're doing break nine, so this will be Brie, break 10. You're doing a dual case break of Jazz's Hit Parade football, right? That's correct. And that's the last one, right? And then there should only be one more case left. I marked them. For us, this is for me, on the IG. Sure, if it's on the mark. Because there's two that, that I did mark, right? That are marked white too, yes. Perfect. Perfect. Sure. You're good. All right, so break 10. Uh, no filler yet on that. We'll save for next time. All right. <laughs> Over the top with Stallone. Uh, is that the only... Is that the only arm wrestling movie ever, Diego? Over the top with Sylvester Stallone. Oh, yeah. The only one, right, X Line? That's what he's saying. Can you imagine the pitch for that movie? <laughs> what is it? Nineteen eighty-seven. An American sports drama film starring Sylvester Stallone. It was produced and directed by Menahem Golan. Screenplay written by Sterling Silifant and Stallone. The soundtrack by Giorgio Moroder. Kind of a famous synth or early electronic music kind of guy right there. Inspired like Daft Punk and guys like that. The main character, Lincoln Hawk played by Stallone is a long-haul truck driver who tries to win back his estranged son Michael while becoming a champion arm wrestler. So can you imagine Stallone's pitch? He's just like, all right, get this. Estranged father, long-haul truck driver, salt of the earth, working class guy, you know, needs to win his son back but he has to do it through competitive arm wrestling. <laughs> Noel's saying it's like Roadhouse. You know, it's, it's like Roadhouse. It's not a... It's not, it's not the greatest, but us guys like to watch it. I haven't seen it in ages. Ronald Acuna Jr. to 50. Same with Roadhouse, actually. Roadhouse is actually kind of a good movie, isn't it? <laughs> There's Acuna Jr. for the Braves. That goes to James. Now, there are, there are going to be a lot of non-numbered base cards here and, and these sketch card reproductions for these teams. So at the end of the break, I'm going to randomize everybody's names. Name on top will get 
the non-numbered base cards for all the teams as one lot. Which is actually pretty nice. All right, we got Tom Glavin, 50 out of 50. James with the Braves. Rex is saying, I should write a one-page script from Stallone, Mumbles, and write Mumbles right in the middle of the page. That's, that's not nice, Rex. No one, makes fun of the way how, no one makes fun of the way you talk. We got Paul Goldschmidt, 13 out of 35. Goldie going to... Going to the number block group. You're going to hear a lot of the number block group hitting. So that is Cardinals 3. And that'll be for Martin, last bot mojo. There's Joey Votto, 12 out of 75. Uh, red legs. Reds are a number block team. Majority of these are going to be number block team. That goes to Reds two. Martin. And behind Belly is Nico Horner. Dual relic and autograph. That's for the Cubs. That's a number block team. So that goes to Cubs three. And that'll be for Martin as well. Nice. Box one in the books. <laughs> yeah, excellent. You're a Cubs fan. Makes it pretty for easy for us. All right, and you're also not Sylvester Stallone, Rex. Come on. Put some respect on Syl Sylvester Stallone's name. You're talking about you're talking about Rocky, Lincoln Hawk, and over the top, John Rambo. Come on, man. Also, Rex, I don't think I have to give him direction on mumbling. I think he'll just do it anyway. <laughs> no, no direction needed. No extra direction needed. Uh, Judge Dredd? He was Judge Dredd, wasn't he? The Dirty Birds are the Atlanta Falcons. I don't think I don't think the X Line's a Falcons fan, Rex. Come on, come on, Rex. Twelve out of fifty, Matt Chapman. That'll be for Blue Jays two. All right, and your hits. Good luck. Sketch reproduction. Dale Murphy reveals a Luis Gill. Two fifty-two out of two ninety-nine. Old Gill really needs this job. Remember old Gill in The Simpsons? Everybody, old Gill. Gosh, really needs to. Get out of Triple A and make it to the big leagues. Uh, that's for the Yankees. Yankees two to Martin. There's a Brandon Belt, Jeffrey, twenty-seven out of fifty. Giants, Giants are picked up straight up. Chris Walker getting my rivals. Last spot, Mojo. And we got Luis Severino, dual relic and autograph. That's for the Yankees are a number block team. Most of these teams are. That goes to Yankees zero. Martin. And there's Bryce Harper, 32 out of 75, quad relic. 
Some nice colors there. A piece of his lumber. Philadelphia, two. To Martin. Next box. The X line really laying in, laying it on, on the Cubs. X line, you should remind Rex that none of that 2016 team is there or wants to be there. Meanwhile, Adam Wainwright and Yachty have combined. What? How many starts together? Record setting amount. Frame. <laughs> Lucas is like, at least you're not an Angels fan. Yeah, that's another story. I, I hope I hope that team gets sold. In all seriousness, I I think Artie Moreno was great for the Angels post, you know, post Disney. Um, but I think maybe maybe he got him to a certain level. But I feel like I feel like he's got to maybe have a have some others run that team to help them get to an, to another another level. Let's play two. Ernie Banks, 91 out of 150. Cubs one. We got Honus Wagner. Triple relic and autograph. There's Patrick Wisdom. Wise, wise old Patrick Wisdom. It's 294. So Cubs four for the X line. We got AJ Pollock, Dodgers edition, 39. Uh, no, check that. That's 99 out of 99. Dodgers, 9. Kevin. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think the Cardinals are going to be fine, Rex, without Wainwright, Yachty, or Pujols. I mean, they've got a good crop of youngsters and they, they got Paul Goldschmidt and Nolan Arenado there's 21 out of 35 uh, Eric Hosmer Padres 1 that will be for Martin oh imagine if uh, imagine if Wilson Contreras became became a uh, cardinal uh, that would be a nice little, uh, nice little, re little replacement there. Hey, it's a chip off the old block, Chipper Jones. Two out of ten, gold frame, gold ink auto, and James got the Braves straight up. When Chicago gets Otani, that's a good one, Rex. That that's that's your best joke yet, Rex. Good job, good job by the uh, good job by the joke writers on that one. Oh, nice name drop, Lucas. I like that. A little owner sweep name drop. A little humble brag. Love it.
All right, next box. Is that a sketch card or is that a... No, that's a reproduction. It's a reproduction. Josh, I'll tell you what. When you're not around, Rex talks about how he would love to see Albert Pujols go out on top with the World Series. He's rooting for the Cardinals. There's Mario Rivera out of one. That made my stomach turn. Cubs fan rooting for the Cardinals. He might be a Cardinals fan. X line. He might secretly be a Cardinals fan. Oh, he did say it when you were around? That disgusts me, Rex. Makes my makes my 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 blood boil and my stomach curl. Two out of fifty, Jorge Soler. Uh, that's for the Braves. That's for James. Can you imagine if I was just like, boy, would love to see Buster Posey get a World Series before he retires? No way. Tyler Glass now, 25. He's got a few anyway. There's uh, Tyler Glass now, Rays. Rays 9, that's going to be Kevin. We've got Yuli Gurriel, dual relic and autograph for the Strohs. That's another number block team. Most of these are. 23 out of 25, Houston 3, Martin, last spot mojo. And there's Al Bohm, 69 out of 75, Phillies, Phillies 9, Kevin. All right. Two boxes to go. Jordan Wilson, what's up, Jordan? Would love to see the Padres win a World Series with the T Tatis watching from home. Yeah, Tatis might might need to have like an MVP season or win like NLCS or World Series MVPs if he wants to get back into the good graces with Padres fans, I would imagine. Rex is saying, just wait, though. Two, three years. NL Central is going to be strong. Pirates, Reds have great farm systems, as do the Cubs. NL Central should be fire. I hope so. That would be good for the hobby. Be hashtag good for the hobby. The problem is, yeah, the problem is those – I mean, maybe, except for the Cubs. Cubs kind of spend. Spend poorly sometimes, but they still spend. But the Reds don't really spend when they should. Pirates don't spend money when they should. A lot of Pirates fans don't like the Pirates ownership. Blake Snell, there's everybody here. Nice O'Neill Cruz, Shane Bieber, the Biebs to 150. It's for Cleveland, number Cleveland seven. O'Neill Cruz will be part of that Pirates uh, non numbered lot, part of the number block group.
All right, there's a reproduction of Ichiro, Mariner's Edition, and a quad relic. Kershaw, J uh, J Justin Verlander, Jacob deGrom, and Garrett Cole, 36 out of 99. Dodgers, a number block team. Astros, a number block team. Mets, a number block team. Yankees, a number block team. So that'll all go to, no randomizer, number six. That's Martin, number six. Nice quad relic. <laughs> I did not drop the Blake Snell on purpose. There's the hop, Andre Dawson, triple relic and autograph. I have nothing against Blake Snell. What year is it? 98 out of 150. Cubs 8 for Patrick. And we've got Big Boppy and Laser Show, Dustin Pedroia, 23 out of 25. Red Sox, Diego with the Red Sox. Nice dual relic. Thanks for getting the Bo Sox straight up. And there's Will the Thrill. Orioles edition? That goes to Jeffrey and the Orioles. I did not know that Will Clark played for another orange team. Obviously, I remember him playing for the Giants. And then played for the... Ra I remember the Rangers years. He actually had a couple good years with the Rangers. Yeah, played for Baltimore in 1999. Huh. And then for half a season in 2000, and then finished his career in St. Louis, I think? Hmm. All right, there you go. Will the Thrill. Orioles, Jeffrey. No, I, I mean, I, I didn't know the Cardinal thing either. Josh might remember, but I, I certainly didn't. Yes, he was a six-time All-Star, two-time Silver Slugger, Gold Glover, NLCS MVP. My cousins, uh, I mentioned this before, my cousins are from, grew up in Northern California, grew up Giants fans, and... Cousin Dan is a uh, lefty. And he he kind of had a had a Will Clarkish sort of batting stance, I think. Will Clark recently got his number retired by the Giants not too long ago. What what is Will Clark doing now? I guess Will Clark's the spokesman for Autism Speaks and ANOVA. I'm, apparently that's, that's what he's doing. ANOVA, by the way, is Analysis of Variation, a collection of statistical models and their associated estimation procedures used to analyze the differences amongst means. Stats. Oh, I get it. Yeah, Will Clark's number 22 was tied by the Giants in 2022. I bet they were waiting for that. All right, last box, good luck. There's the big unit, 1999, Prince. Hmm. 
No drop on that Blake Snell. That's good. We're good. We're good. All right, behind Helio Ramos is Dansby Swanson. 31 out of 75. Goes to James and the Braves. Dansby Swanson actually having a pretty solid season. Real nice player. Good with the glove. He's going to be a free agent at the end of this season. If the Braves retain him, where else does he go? Teams, a lot of teams could use a shortstop like him. Here is Paul Goldschmidt. Probably your MVP. Although he's cooled down a little bit. He was on he was on triple crown run. Might still be the odds on favorite though, according to Vegas anyway, but we'll see what the baseball writers do. 48 out of 150. Cardinals 8 will be for Patrick. Teoscar Hernandez, 21 out of 25. Blue Jays 1 for Martin. With the Bluebirds. The last one is going to be Derek Lee. 60 out of 125. Cubs 0. That is for Martin. The old Derek Lee. Pretty solid player himself as well. And there you go, gang. Let's randomize the non-numbered base cards to somebody. Which only applies to which only applies to this group of teams right here. So let's gather everybody's names. New di oh, that's not a new dice. Let's get some new dice. Let's get some get a new list going. That was an old dice roll. Name on top after 12. Come on, ram.org, after 12. Such high numbers all the time. We'll get those non-numbered base cards. Two, three. And good luck, 12th and final time. Name on top is going to be the X-Line. The X-Line, you're going to get a lot of non-numbered base cards for that group of teams right there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next Museum Collection Baseball Break. Bye-bye.